All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and I have a huge news story that has to be covered today. Bungie has recently discussed the possibility of buffing the last word for mouse and keyboard or possibly nerfing it for controller. Yes, you heard me right. This is the big topic that we're going to be talking about today. The last word, will it get buffed or will it get nerfed? This was talked about pretty extensively on a podcast. So go ahead and watch this clip right here. So with last, you mentioned last word. Last word's completely yeah. separate. The um, the tuning for mouse and keyboard and and controller is that correct? Right. Right. Is there is last word? Because I saw some comments before. Is last word performing how you'd want it to for PC? Because I feel it feels like it's probably used. I feel like it's a, the opposite of DMT. Feels like that's PC versions. You, do you know what I mean? Like it's underused on PC and and used more on controller and DMT's the opposite, right? Yeah, we have 100% agree, and we would like to uh, come back and revisit that tuning on last word because it doesn't need to be um, mm. like it didn't need to be dumpstered quite so much. <laughs> like at mm -hmm. the time, it was such a terror that it made sense to like just take it out of contention on mouse and keyboard. But uh, yeah, like it's it's been that way for long enough. It's uh, we can take another look at it. Um, we might not get to it for Witch Queen, but it's certainly on the list for sometime soon. On the list. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you talked about that because I hear it all the time with um, people wanting separate balancing for last words specifically for M&K mm. and controller because it's so good on controller, but on M&K people are like, it's True. barely usable. Um, so it, it's good to know that it, it kind of does have that system in place already to be balanced separately. Um, and I think I think M&K uses would definitely like for it to be looked at because it was a lot of people's favorite gun in D1, right? Um, so people are wanting to continue using it on PC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes total sense and something we would like to. So expect okay. it sometime. Sometime. Interesting. But, cool. but not Witch Queen. Yeah. Not Witch Queen. <laughs> do you are you happy um, with um how the last word is on controller, or do you feel it's a bit too strong? Ooh. So I think technically it's a little bit too strong. Yeah. But if something's too strong and no one's using it, it doesn't really worry me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's usage isn't that. It's usage is nowhere near high enough. High enough really? To be a big concern. But I think a like a really good player uh, can absolutely terrorize a lobby with it for sure. Hmm. Well, wow. interesting. I don't think a mediocre player can, which is the other side of that. Mm. Uh, so now that you've seen the clip for yourself, let's go ahead and discuss all of these bullet points. First up, the comparison was made the DMT Dead Man's Tale versus the Last Word. It's kind of like the exact opposite of these two different exotics. The Dead Man's Tale, too strong on mouse and keyboard, not very good on controller. The Last Word, potentially too strong on controller, but not very good on mouse and keyboard. I definitely think that's a fair comparison. Let me know if you agree on that in the comment section below. And then they did actually mention that they will be revisiting this after the Witch Queen, it is actually on the list. So the last word will get adjusted in some way after the Witch Queen. And it seems like what they said was that technically it's a little bit too strong. The last word is a little bit too strong on controller. That's actually from the Bungie Dev's mouth himself. And then they also said that a good player will terrorize people with this weapon, which I've definitely seen. If you guys know, I play with Myron, who's one of the best players using the last word. He's insanely good with it. He absolutely just melts people with this thing. And then they do did say that they don't think a mediocre player can do the same. Now, I do find that to be an interesting argument. And they did say that the overall usage of this weapon wasn't high enough for it to be uh, nerfed for controller, which is an interesting factor to take into consideration is that if a weapon is in fact too strong, literally the Bungie dev says it's too strong, but it's just not used enough then Bungie doesn't nerf it, you'd think they would want to balance the sandbox better and just not have things that are a little bit too strong be in the sandbox. In my opinion, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Do you think that the last word should get nerfed for controller or do you think that it should get buffed for mouse and keyboard? Obviously, people are going to vote for whatever benefits them the most, right? If you're a controller player out there, if you're a mouse and keyboard player out there, try to be unbiased in the comments and your opinions about this and make sure to subscribe with notifications on. If you want to stay up to date on all the news and everything that Bungie is doing in Destiny 2, Make sure you're subscribed to this channel with notifications on. Smash the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.